Embedded Engineers, Developers, and Makers, welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions coming to you from Embedded Computing Design. It's Friday, May 16th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design and your host. These are our top stories this week. Coming up first, we have a very cool guest column about using WebAssembly for embedded software coding by Jason Shepard, co-founder and CEO of a company called Atom, in which he outlines how two recent macro trends are necessitating change in the way that embedded software is developed. Our next story comes from Automate 2025, the Embedded Computing Design Editorial Board, which does include me, this week named the winner of the Automate 2025 Best in Show Awards, a pacer. Go ahead and click the link down in the show notes to find out why they won and for what product. In our third story this week, I'd like to plug our ins Embedded Insiders podcast that we put out almost every week. On our most recent episode, Rich Nass, our executive vice president, and I were joined by Reese Hayden, principal analyst at Global technology firm and intelligence agency, ABI Research. I'm sure you've heard of them. And we talked all about the recent global tariffs and how these tariffs, reciprocal or not, are having an effect on supply chains, manufacturing, costs, expansion, development, all of those uh, factors. And in another segment on the podcast, I speak with uh, Jun Kawaguchi of Windbond, all about AI and, and some of the issues going on in that space. So give it a listen and a subscribe while you're there. Available on all your favorite podcasting platforms. Finally, we're featuring Advantech and its Edge AI application server and its NFCE paper solution, which have each won 2025 Computex Best Choice Awards from Computex. It's one of the big awards at the show. On the topic of Computex, your embedded computing design editorial team will be in Taipei next week for Computex 2025, including me. I'm very excited to go. Uh, check the links in the description to follow all the news from the show or even to get involved. It's not too late for us to enhance your participation if you're going to be there. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss every week. That comes out every Monday on LinkedIn, so you should subscribe to that and follow us on LinkedIn while you're there. Subscribe to our YouTube channel here so you don't miss any of our shows, including Embedded Toolbox, DevKit Weekly, and of course, In Case You Missed It. Visit EmbeddedComputing.com for all the news in the embedded computing space and follow us all across the web on social media. Please reach out if you'd like to become a sponsor or advertiser here on this show or any of our shows. And that is our show. Thank you so much for watching. I, have you. I hope you have had a marvelous week and that you will have a restful weekend. I'll catch you next time here on In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights.